Hi everybody and thanks for stopping by another edition of Plus Images TV. Today we're going to show you how to make one of these wonderful little 3D fruit structures. They're so pretty, they're so easy to make, and a great addition to your Thanksgiving table. Today we're going to concentrate on making this darling little pumpkin. We have apples, we have a little acorn, we have some pears, there's an acorn squash, this is another type of squash, but again today we're going to make this darling little pumpkin, so stay with us. So here is our cute little pumpkin, I'll show you from all sides. There are eight pieces for every one of these 3D structures that we're making, and you use a real stem, you can find something outside. Cut it down and you will glue it with a glue gun. Um, everything else you can use a glue stick to glue them together. Here are the pieces. There are eight pieces. We're going to fold them in half to make this darling little structure. Now my inspiration came from the Better Homes and Gardens magazine. The October issue And I believe you can go online still and find these templates. So on this page of the magazine, you can see all the different types of 3D structures that you can make. I've already made a number of these. I like this acorn squash. Mine came out more yellowy. I used bleach for the color, but my paper wasn't as dark as the paper that they show here. And I'm sure if I had the darker green, it would have come out yellow. Also in the magazine are instructions, how-to instructions. 3D structures. It tells you here's a list of everything you need, the templates. You can download them from bhg.com slash wallpaper. Colored cardstock, I got mine at Michael's. Each pack was just under $6, and there were five or six colors in each pack, acrylic paint, paint brushes, a bone folder. I just use my nail to fold them in half, but if you have one, great. If not, you don't necessarily have to go out and buy one. A glue stick, twigs, hand pruners, and a hot glue gun. And the hot glue gun is to affix the twigs to the top. It gives you detailed instructions on how to make your structures gives you special notes. Now they suggest painting your um, individual pieces before you glue them together. I didn't. I did mine afterward and I think it worked out just fine. But to each his own. Each his own. And of course here are the twigs that you're going to use to affix them to the top so they make it a more realistic looking. Here's the instructions for the acorns, which they don't have a picture, but there are two pieces. I would say it was easy. The only, I wouldn't say problem I had, but just a little bit of a hiccup was aligning the bottom part of the acorn. I'll show you the bottom part of the acorn with the top, but it worked out and I used hot glue for that. So that's that and we'll begin in just a moment. So what I did, I took a screenshot of the templates from the website. I now, I've turned my phone sideways so I can enlarge it. It says three inches wide, and that's, you can see that fits that size. And the way I made my template so I could cut these guys out is take a piece of white paper, fold it in half, and kind of line it up till it was halfway. I used the brightness on my phone. You may or may not be able to see it. I can see it. And I just traced around that half. I then took that part, cut it out, 
like this until I had this shape. And all you do is open it up and you take your colored paper. Of course, in this case, it's a pumpkin. We used orange. And I just traced around. You know, I put my template, cut them out until I had eight pieces. And now I'll show you the next step. So we have all our little pieces. Some of these you can see are already folded. And all you need to do is line up the edges. If you see you have pencil mark, leave those the pencil mark on the outside of your pieces because you're going to, that's the side you're going to glue. I'm sorry. You'll glue and you won't even see it. It'll be on the inside. Now you see this is kind of, it's not very flat. I just take my nail and run it down like that until I have a nice crease. And you do that with each one of your pieces. Carry on with each piece. Remember, keep the side with the pencil out so that when you glue them, that side will be glued in, inside or to the next piece and you won't even see it once your, your uh, 3D structure is complete. So I'm going to finish these and I'll go on to the next step. So now we have our eight pieces cut out. I'll move them out of the way. And you just start gluing. You want to make sure you have an ample amount of glue on each side. And make sure you have the tops and bottoms all going in the same direction. And then you just glue them together. And you keep going on and on. You make sure this lines up well because that's going to be the middle of your of your fruit. So we'll do another one, just so you can see. Now make sure you get that glue all over, otherwise they won't hold. But otherwise, it's a very simple process. Make sure you line up the back part of them evenly. Don't be afraid to use glue. You can always wipe it off with a tissue or or your finger or whatever. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. You can see it's already coming together. Cute, huh? And we'll be right back with the finished pumpkin. Okay, I have one piece left. I wanted to show you how to do that. Well, I didn't exactly get these even, which you want to try and do it more even than that. But this is for demonstration purposes. You're going to glue each oops, each side, get a lot of glue on there because you're going to want to have each side hold really well all the way out to the end. And of course, you're going to glue on one side and you can slide it around until it's even and glue this piece until it's even and you should have eight. Let me get some of this excess glue off. But you should have eight sections. All right, now that I've glued everything together here, But as you can see, there you go. Of course, the excess glue will dry clear. Try and get as much off as you can, but okay, that's one piece. But here's all your little sections. And you try and glue it as as even as you evenly as you can so it will sit up nicely. Oh, see that side sits nicer. Now I've gone and found a twig, and I'll show you how to put that on in just a moment. So here we have the completed pumpkin. I found a little stem out in my yard. Actually, this is from my lilac bush. It's got a little bud on it, but it's a little cold here in the Chicago land area, so I don't think it's going to bud. So we cut that piece off. And you can do this before you finish the last piece because you can put it down in there. But I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue here and stick it on like that. Can you see it? I think you can see it okay. Let it dry. And oopsie, and you can add it to the rest of your 3D structures, courtesy of Better Homes and Gardens. So here's our new little pumpkin, arranged nicely on our tray. I think these would be ideal, uh, make an ideal centerpiece for your Thanksgiving table. They're so, like I said, you can see they're very easy to make. Um, I've included templates on this video. So 
have fun, enjoy, and thank you so much for visiting me again here at Plus Images TV. I hope you enjoy these and I hope you'll make them. And please send me some uh, pictures. I'd enjoy seeing them. Happy, Hall Happy Halloween. I'm a day late and a dollar short. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Enjoy the craft and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.